Welcome to La Sentala here in the center for our breakfast. I got the healthy dish. That's their signature acai bowl with homemade granola. And Brian just got a breakfast platter with some bread, a croissant, some cold cuts, some cheese here from the region. Yeah, so let's dig in. area here. We are in Decentis and that's the uh, Swiss German name for this town here. But they speak their own kind of uh, dialect here, Ritterroman, and the people here, they don't call it Decentis, but they call it Muster. So this town or village or whatever it is, it has two names. How cool is that? What is this guy doing there? I have no idea what she does now. She's the only one. Yeah. Eating normal. Eating normal. Eating normal. Not normal. <laughs> we keep seeing this from our room. And it looks like an old abandoned hotel. Yeah. Hotel Akla. Why is this closed? Well, because it's obviously run down. What happened here? Private hotel, no entry. So, welcome to series one of Abandoned. We're still trying to figure out a way how to get into this 20 year old hotel. Yeah, All the doors are locked. I mean, but then again, it shouldn't be too far. I mean, considering that it's kind of flimsy. Look how disgusting this is. It drips from up there. There's this creepy white stuff. And yeah, it comes down that here. This is the abandoned Akla Hotel. It's been abandoned for close to 20 years now. And I would just so love to go in there. So if you are into creepy old abandoned buildings, come to the centers and check out this one. We've come to Austria Fravia and it feels like um, we've just come home to Granny. We're the only people here. It looks like an old living room. I'm sitting right next to the old oven, which is warm. And there's these two elderly people serving us. And I guess it's gonna be so great. We just ordered the, some traditional croissants dishes. And yeah, we're gonna show this to you later. But it's so lovely here. Well, I ordered maloons. It's a very famous potato dish and it always comes with cheese from the region and applesauce. So it's this mix of savory, sweet. I've never had it before, so this is a first for me. But I usually like the combination of sweet and savory. And I do like this. It 
seems like the cuisine here um, in the Grissons is pretty rustic and um, hardy. I guess it comes from the past. You're living in the mountains, you have a lot of hard work to do. So the food that you're eating um, should give you some power. And I have to say, I'm pretty into this cuisine. I like all the carbs. I like when it's hearty, I like when there's butter in it. So I'm pretty happy with this. I've gone for the capons, which is also a very traditional dish. Um, not really quite sure what it's made of, but... And some sort of leaf. So how do you like it? It's pretty good. It's, um, it's definitely hearty. It's uh, very savory, very meaty, but good. It's dough wrapped in chard with bacon on top and cheese sauce. Can't go wrong with that. It's very traditional for here, for the region. It's actually their, their main, their, their most national dish. It's called kapoons. Yesterday when we had dinner with this lovely old lady, she told us about an abandoned hotel that should be somewhere here up the mountains. We haven't found it so far. But look what we found! Donkeys! Welcome to another episode of Abandoned. Today, we stopped at another abandoned hotel. 